Deck check. Okay, I got you, John. You got me? I got you. I one, don't hear two, anything. One, two. Yeah, we hear you, Mark. Okay, so on this episode, we're going to be flying with our mechanic. Oh, there we go. Cessna John Effinger. We got Mark Zimmerman in the back, a 210 expert, and uh, we're just giving them a ride to uh, McKinney from Borland. They're doing a, a, a ferry flight, right? Yeah. Well, not yet. If we wait till Monday, it'll be a ferry flight. Right, that's right. <laughs> so re repositioning. Now, do you guys, before I go too far, um, i got to familiarize myself a Absolutely. little bit. Absolutely. Have you got a, uh, you don't have a trim on and off? Trim on and off? No, we just yeah. mechanical a trim wheel. Okay. Well, a lot. You should have a switch on a the trim. yoke. Well, yeah, but but an on and off, the turn, yeah. electric trim on and off. I didn't know that. Yeah, you should have one on the yoke. No. Is, is, yeah, because that's, that's voice there. Oh, there's your ID. What's there's the your bottom? What's PTT. the one? What's the one below the autopilot off? Okay, that's there. It is. That's it. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Why would you and turn your electric trim off in case it went crazy? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. If you got a runaway trim, you could turn it off. I see. Okay. Oh, this gives me a good chance to check your uh, yeah the steering bungee. It seemed back to normal this morning. Well, I tell you what, the, just the big throws that it's taken. You know, it's it's not bad, but it's getting weak. You know, I'll just put it that way. It's not like you got a new bungee in there. Not, you know, a tight bungee. All right, so John, you're the pilot flying. Um, I'll be pilot in command. You know, I, I understand they're real persnickety about that transfer of controls these days. They are. As, as far as your uh, CFI. Exactly. Yeah, that that's something that... that uh, you know, that escaped me early on, my oh, really? early CFI days, there, you know, we never even considered that. Oh, that's one of the 16 or 14 whatever main points. It's like number one or two is the the uh, proper transfer of flight controls. And, um, it, every, you know, I, I'm a newer pilot, so I went through my training four years ago. It was drilled into me back then even, so um, it, it's pretty drilled in me. Uh, and then the, the way it works is that... You know, first person says I have the the flight controls. The second person says you have the flight controls, and then the first person again says I have the flight controls. So it's three steps. So it's a positive transfer of control, and that, that's that's a good idea. And uh, again, here here is where these newer flight instructors have it over. Uh, you know, us old grizzle guys that have been <laughs> you know flying all our lives. Uh, uh, you know, we we uh, we're not we don't have it as fresh as what the new guys do, uh, and and there's been a lot of a lot of things that have been learned throughout the years that uh, that have escaped some of us. Uh, sure, you know, you know we're experienced and all that kind of deal, but uh, there's a lot to be said for new uh, for new flight instructors. You know, the passion is it's still burning hot. All right, so John, we're going to take off, and uh, then you've got your heading. You know which way you're going to go. You know where you're climbing to. I'll work the radios. Been right down the runway. Make me proud, buddy. Just jam that throttle forward. Heels on the floor. Oh, oh they're on it. <laughs> 35, 35, 9. Feel that puppy up. Everything looking green. Perfect. Just feel it in the air. Hey, positive rate of Nice climb. job. Air coming up. Hey, you're in VX. Your flaps are up. 36.4, perfect on your manifold pressure. More right rudder. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start working radios. Regional approach, Centurion 4620, Yankee. Okay. Centurion 4620, Yankee, go ahead, sir. Uh, we're off uh, Borland at 1,600 for 3,500. Request flight following the McKinney, Tango Kilo, India. 
Mark, I think we hear you breathing. 4620 Yankee Squawk 4643. 4643, 2-0 Yankee. Approach 2-0 Yankee, are we uh, cleared in Bravo? Number 2-0 Yankee, affirmative, you're cleared in the DFW class, Bravo. Cleared in Bravo, 2-0 Yankee. Number 2-0 Yankee, let me know when you get the weather, McKinney, sir. I will let you know, 2-0 Yankee. Hitting zero three zero. Zero three zero for two zero Yankee. Yep, I'm gonna have to keep you westbound at DFW there in a north flow right now, so you expect on course to McKinney, probably about twenty miles. Understood, two zero Yankee. Approach 2 0 Yankee has McKinney's weather. Number 2 0 Yankee, thanks, sir. Number 2 0 Yankee, DFW altimeter 3041. There's going to be a uh, phenol jet passing below you at 3000. 4 1, and uh, we'll walk, look for the traffic. 2 0 Yankee. Don Fly's a good airplane. He flew it all the way to Jacksonville. There's the phenol missing. 2 0 Yankee has traffic in sight. 2 0 Yankee, thank you. Was that 411 Centurion has in sight? I still don't have him. He's right on the edge of the horizon. How far? Uh, five miles. At two o'clock now. Got him. Right on the horizon line. Probably go back on course now. Uh, hopefully. There's DFW. I would think he would, right? Or he's going to have to take us way up. Yeah, he's going to put us up Lake Southwest Louisville. 30, 22, up here. Southwest 3822, thank you. Yeah, they're on North Flow. He can't do that. He had to take us even further. Now, on low cruise, do you like 2,500 on RPM? Um, I don't know. I just found a good fuel flow, and okay. it is putting us up there pretty good on the airspeed. Right. Exit 411, clear bridge cruise, runway 34. I was really just kind of going into some numbers that I usually pull back to and cruise that I know kind of work on this engine. Absolutely. Well, what well, we got? I'm gonna pull back a little more. So 24. Number two zero Yankee, turn 10 degrees to the right instead of maintain 3,000. I have on course for McKinney for you at about six miles. Okay, 10 degrees right, down to 3,000. Two zero Yankee. I usually put in that altitude in my uh, altitude bug just so it reminds me. Good habit. Are you on an approach into McKinney or just going VFR for uh, November 2 0 Yankee? Uh, VFR 2 0 Yankee. Thank you. Got a TFR over the speedway today. Oh, that's right. Uh, I wasn't showing. Nice weekend. I'm going to make sure, uh, let's see if it's active. Yeah, he's right on the edge. Oh, that's why he's turning us. John, go ahead and turn a little bit more to the right. legal as long as you're uh, under control. Is it? Yeah. I knew it was with IFR, but I wasn't sure about VFR flight following. Yeah, if he's, if he's vectoring you, you're... Okay. All right. Sure. That's good to know. Number two zero Yankee contact approach on 124.3. They'll have on course for you. 24.3, two zero Yankee. Appreciate that. No problem, sir. Have a good day. Approach Centurion 4620 Yankee 3000. November 4620 Yankee, regional approach, DFW altimeter 3043. 4320 Yankee. A pretty stable airplane. It really is. Uh, not that I, I have a I lot of experience. I don't know when I last flew this thing. It's, uh. I could tell you, you and John, or you and uh, Mark flew it last uh, uh, June. Oh, okay. That's when the uh, throttle slipped on you. That was yours. That was mine. That was this one. Well, it's a good thing that i just been watching the manifold pressure and checking that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that I've ever been over here. The McKinney? No, I, I'm not I sure. did for the first time about two months ago. 
Uh, Eric Johnston, who's very active in North Texas Aviators, he's the guy who does all the really cool photographs. Yeah. Uh, Eric's a lineman, and he's working today. Oh, good. Yeah, he, I, I've met him at the photo shoots. Yeah. Works for uh, Scott Glover, or works yes. for Scott Glover. Oh, miles out. Airplane feels real good. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm glad for that because I've got my longest cross country for, that I've ever taken starting tomorrow. John teases me that, you know, I say I've got a short cross country coming up. I'm going to Iowa. That's short for me. Uh -huh. But uh, I'm going to Atlanta and Connecticut. All I'm next week. to see you using this airplane. Approach 20 Yankee has McKinney in sight. November 20 Yankee, Roger, VFR to send your discretion. Send our discretion, 20 Yankee. Alright, so John Pattern altitude is 1,600 feet. Oh, tower off the right wing. What now, off the right? Big go tower. Oh, yeah. Yankee, contact McKinney Tower, 118.82. Go to tower, 20 Yankee. Slam dunk. Yeah. McKinney Tower, Centurion 46, Suzier Yankee 3002, descending down. Centurion 46, Suzier Yankee McKinney Tower, enter the left downwind runway 36. 102011, I'll turn for 3043. Left downwind for 36, Suzier Yankee. Alright, so we're going to just go across midfield. Uh, the, no, and. No, we're going to enter a left right, down I'm, one. This That's right. Never mind. Left, uh, the other one. The other one. The other one. I do that all the time. Westbound, Southern Tango Yankee. Centurion uh, 2 zero Yankee, you can fly towards the left base. Flying towards the left base, 2 zero Yankee. So I guess, uh, and just to confirm, you want us now on a left base for 3-6? Centurion 2 zero Yankee left base runway 36, traffic on a one mile final. You are clear to land number two. Clear to land number two, 36, 2 zero Yankee. We'll look for that traffic. Just haven't taken Yankee, you can make the left turn on course. Check with regional 124.3, good flight. Okay, John, where would you like your left, left base? Turn on, left turn on course. Oh, more. Uh, and we'll check in with regional next day. Copy this roadway here. Hey, towers, Sky 178. Hey, before landing, light belt, like seatbelt. Depart pattern down. Fuel's desired, mixture rich. I'm going to lead the mixture where it's at right now. Okay. Prop forward when, when you want. That right hand, that turn southbound, I get you. Over and the, when do you want gear? Southwest side, you're sure. And when we get it slowed down, I'll be right southbound. So and yeah. gear drop speed is actually the 165, so. Continue your climb. Okay, gear. Continue climb, okay. 8 off box. 557, short final. Five five seven's clear. Touch you go. That's right hand traffic. Okay, horns off. We good. I've got two out here and a green on light. Left. So you're good on on gear. That's right. So. Before you go, angle to your left, right base runway uh, three six. Angle to the left. Uh, got the final. Yep. Three one four. Just an eight out fog trust clock zero four four one. Zero four four one. I continue your descent, John. The two zero Yankee, you're now number one. Number one, two zero Yankee. The three one four, plan to be number two. You're following the Centurion a mile, mile and a half to the southwest on a left base. They're also full stop. Report traffic in sight. Third land number two. Looking for that traffic. Hey, gear. Three one four. Seven eight. Under carriage. Mixture prop. Gas under carriage. Looking good, John. Course over regional eight off Fox Trot. Thanks. Hamakini Tower seven two zero. All right, we're at a pattern altitude. Okay, looking good. Number 7204, come back to McKinney Tower. We're starting to go a little low. Yes, sir, uh, we're off Arrow Country, climbing through 2500 southeast bound, uh, en route to uh, 5500 feet, uh, like cross over your airspace there. Uh, Number zero four, never mind, you've got the uh, four light vassing. We're actually a teeny bit high. At 3900 feet, so you're not in the class problem. Uh, zero four, come back, understood that. Thank you very much, sir. sir. And for taxi, who was that? Hey, looking good. So 733, 
three November Bravo McKinney Ground, Runway three six. Taxi Alpha Bravo five. One zero two zero one one altimeter three zero four three. Tower says a seven in it, there, correction, three seven seven one Lima is twelve to the north with the numbers. I'd like to shoot the uh, practice localizer circle of the land if able. Test three one four, you can turn to little fast. Airport. Your traffic's uh, no longer any traffic for you. They're crossing threshold line, you're still clear to land. You're number one. Clear to land, zero, runway three one three six zero. One more. Uh, one more. Five, five, now, seven. You'll be number two. You're following the Cessna. We're a little high, John. South or on a right to base. Report when you have that traffic in sight. Power we're looking five, five, seven. Cessna three, November, Bravo, taking near direction flight. Thank you. I'll go back to the center Cessna of the three, runway. Cessna three, seven, seven, one, Lima. Well, I'll tell you, continue. I'll call you, sir. I need some more of this, I'm Roger, rusty. Can you go across, sir? Yeah, that's all right. Stop you can knock the rust off. Roger. Thanks for watching this episode of Taking Off with John Effinger and Mark Zimmer. Oh, this is an episode. The numbers yeah, of course. Three. Oh, camera's running. Two, I've got one crossing, uh, well, you're number three. I've got one crossing. Oh, I've done. Miles I'll be good at the editing. One. That's you, you're following. Yeah, there'll be a lot of editing on this one. The whole FC. Runway 36737, Tango Yankee, direct the numbers.